the first good sun of the year and it's foggy. Uh, it's about 16 degrees this morning, dang cold. Uh, it's the first good morning we've had to hunt. We're going to shift the fog a little, maybe we can pick up some uh, geese as they come in. I'm doing a solo hunt today. I'm going to probably do, uh, I put out 10 dozen decoys this morning, right around 10 dozen decoys this morning. And uh, we're going to see how that uh, how it turns out for the first of the year. I'm going to field close to the Snake River and within a half mile of the Snake River and hopefully when the geese get off this morning they'll, uh, they'll come right to us in this field. Went to gun shop the other morning and fell in love with Stevens 555 over under shotgun so I just had to buy the dang thing. Uh, and then I called Savage and uh, they sent me a couple more chokes that came with five chokes but they weren't the chokes I wanted. Shooting geese I want two modifieds, one top, one bottom. Uh, first time I ever, I've ever shot a uh, an over-under shotgun hunting, so usually I'm a pump guy, so we're going to try it this year and see how it turns out. I decided this year I'm going to use Fiocchi shells. I bought a case of them, so we're going to try them out. Uh, I bought 3-inch. Uh, they're 1,550 feet per second, and I'm going to shoot number twos this year on geese and ducks. Back in the 1970s when I started hunting geese, I used fox goose calls, and that's what I'm going to use uh, this year. I haven't changed uh, since 1971 or 72 when I started hunting geese. If you like what we're doing here and you like our videos, subscribe to us on our YouTube channel. Here it is, two days before Thanksgiving. The weather's finally changed. The weather's been unusually warm this year, but uh, now it dropped down to 16 degrees. The fog rolled in this morning and it did not lift, so tomorrow morning we're going to give it another crack and see if we can uh, get the geese to come into us in the fields. We'll probably hunt the same fields we did today. Here we are the day before Thanksgiving. The weather's not much better than it was yesterday. We had a storm move in. It's about 25 degrees and snowing. Uh, the visibility is not very good. The chances of the birds flying today are, are pretty slim, but we're going to hang out here for a while and if they start moving we'll set up our decoys and, and do some hunting. If not, we'll put it off till tomorrow and give it to Pearl in the morning and see what, that, uh, what tomorrow brings. It was another tough day of hunting uh, and on the Snake River. We're still chasing the, the local birds. The northern flight hasn't come in yet, so we're kind of battling Mother Nature and pretty dang smart birds. So as soon as the northern flight gets in, we'll uh, we'll be in a lot better shape, get a lot more action, and it's just one of them hunting years. So we just have to keep going and keep plugging away and doing it until we get it done. Well, it's Thanksgiving Day. The weather's changed. We can see a little bit further than we did you could yesterday. And hopefully them darn geese will fly today. I spent three days on a solo hunt. I was sure that this was going to be the uh, week that uh, all the northerns would show up and the goose hunt would be fantastic. But instead, when the geese left today, they flew out very high. They wouldn't even take a look at us. We tried calling them, or I tried calling them since I was the only one there. Each day I put out about 10 dozen decoys. We really don't have any choice other than it's uh, time to go back and uh, start scouting. We know these fields are good later on in the year, but uh, in order to start killing a few geese, uh, we're going to have to scout around a little bit and figure out where we're going to go and if there's other fields that they're going into that uh, we can get access to. I, I really don't like hunting the, the river that much. Uh, a lot of people hunt the Snake River. They jump shoot ducks and I'm really not a duck hunter. If one comes into the uh, goose decoys I'll shoot it. I don't eat them. Uh, occasionally I will but not. Uh, I don't have a real sense of loving geek ducks so but I do geese. So we'll uh, we'll just see if uh, we can find some other places, come back to these fields a little bit later. Just have to figure out where they're going and what they're doing. And uh, we're just going to hang in there until we get it 
until we get it right. That's all we can do. It's Thanksgiving week, and what a way to spend a few days out in the field, trying to get geese to come in, just uh, just enjoying the outdoors, even if it was uh, extremely cold the first day and foggy. We still set up the decoys. Uh, we I, well, I set up the decoys. Had a had a lot of fun. Drank some coffee. Uh, tried it for three days, and it just just didn't pan out for us this time. But it's going to. I'm very optimistic that uh, the weather's going to get colder, and and it's just going to become a good hunt season. It's just man, it's just been a tough uh, tough week, tough season, and we're just keep. We got to keep plugging away. We got to keep going after it. It's uh, it's in our blood. We love hunting them dang geese. This summer we decided to paint all 14 dozen um, decoys that we had. Uh, most of them were from the 1970s and 80s, and they were looking really shabby. So what we did is. We started out with a, a flat khaki paint and painted the entire decoy with it. That way uh, we covered everything. That way it gives you a good primer on it. And uh, then we we go with a we go with a flat brown. It's a it's a um, Camouflage brown that we're we're going to go with here, and we're going to paint the entire decoy from the front to the back, and that khaki kind of shines through the uh, the feathers and kind of gives it a little bit of feathery look. Uh, we leave the the breast will be left khaki, that khaki color, and that's the almost the natural color that the that the geese have on their breasts when you get uh, when you get done. Then we hit the tail, the little tailpiece with a flat black, and it's just uh, we just used a, a real flat black on that. Put a little white on the sides, and as you can see, uh, they came out looking pretty darn good for uh, our first try. I think this was about our second decoy that we did. So, but we did get all 14 dozen uh, decoys uh, painted and ready for this fall. Here's what the decoys look like after you get them painted and they're in the field. Uh, kind of gives you an idea of what uh, what the geese are going to look at once they're looking down at them. As you notice, the, the colors almost match exactly what the uh, factory ones did. Once you once you get them get them out there, they kind of look a little different when you're working on them. But man, they sure sure sh stick out uh, when they're in the field. I'm very happy with the way they came out, and it uh, was actually our, our first try at painting uh, our goose decoys, and uh, I would encourage anybody to do that. It just uh, has turned out to be uh, a good thing for us, and think of the money we saved by not having to buy more goose decoys, uh, because ours were so shabby and, and uh, bad that uh, we thought we might have to replace them, but we're going we're gonna to see how this works this year. Uh-huh. <laughs>